My name is Skyler Ribosdo, best in one section A, and now I'm going to perform general survey, hair, skin, and nails, and HENT, which is head, eyes, ears, nose, and throat assessment. First, when conducting a general survey, we should always start first by introducing ourselves and establish report with our Good day, Mom Michelle Cervantes. How are you today? I'm good. I am student nurse Sky. I am your nurse for today. Uh, so what would you like to call me? Michelle. So Michelle, I would you like if I close the door and curtains for your privacy? Yes, please. Okay, so we ask if that I close the door and curtains for her privacy. So now I'm going to take your vital signs and just going to do a general observation from your head to toe. Okay, okay. before we start, mom, is it okay to you? I'm gonna ask you some questions. Uh, okay, na baka na magbisaya ka or English? Pwede na po both. Okay, are you feeling any pain right now? No. Would you tell me your full name? Michelle P. Cervantes. When is your birthday? June 4, 2000. Kulo ka sa takarang ma? Nasa hospital. Kabulo pa ang saan lawa ka nun? May 5, 2021. Okay. Kabulo ka ang saan kong bigonita? Bullpen. Bullpen. Kaya colors akong sanina. Puti. Would you close your eyes tightly for me? Open them up. Okay. Just smile for me. How about tap up your cheek? Good. So, okay, Michelle, I'm gonna say some words and I want you to repeat after me. Okay. Readiness. Readiness. Vacuum. Vacuum. Dangerous. Dangerous. Yellow. Yellow. I'm gonna take your vital signs. I'm gonna take your body temperature, pulse rate, blood pressure, respiratory rate height and your weight so now you're gonna take your uh, body temperature put in your arm here this okay. it's 36 point point Now I'm going to take your pulse rate. Okay, so your pulse rate is 86. And I already take your respiratory rate and it's 16 breaths per minute. So now I'm going to say... So now I'm going to take your blood pressure. Two hundred ten over eighty. So now I'm going to take your height.
it's 150 centimeters. Patience is alert and consciousness. Facial expression relax. Patient speech clear, normal speech, and normal pace. Findings stature small, posture stand erect, symmetry symmetrical, no obvious physical deformities, nutritional status is fairly nourished, no sign of distress, gait. Normal. Range of motion is full range of motion. No supported supported device. Looks appropriate to the stated age. Clothing appropriate to temperature and weather. No body odor and bad breath. Nakagilis na nato ang ako ni Pagwan sa mama. Kulara. Nakagibat niya sa kin. Kulara po. So maayo so. The next thing to do is I'm going to explain to the patient what is the procedure. So mom, this procedure is from your head to toe. I'm going to start inspecting your skin, your hairs, your nails, and then proceed to your head, your eyes, your ears, your nose, if it is working well in breathing, and if there's any symmetrical, and also to your throat if there is any abnormalities. So, do you have any question or clarification to the procedure, ma'am? Yeah. So, just relax and be comfortable. Before we start the procedure, ma'am, I'm going to wash my hands and sanitize it. So, we ask if that I already washed my hands, so I'm going to sanitize it. So, good day, Ma'am Michelle. Again, I am student nurse Ken. So, I'm going to inspect it to your skin, your hair, and your nails. So I, get, I see your skin, skin overall is pink in color, your palm is pink and it's not pale. I, can I touch your skin? Okay, I'm going to touch your upper extremity down to your lower extremity, checking for the temperature. And, you, and I see your skin is warm and dry and also your skin is smooth and thin and it's indicate and um, it's normal so i don't see any sign or anything abnormality to your skin like pallor or paleness sinuses which is blue and erythema is red and jaundice is uh, yellow so now i'm gonna proceed to palpate your skin i'm gonna check your to go and mobility so when i pinch your skin up and it's moved easily and that would be mobi normal mobility when it's uh, go back to normal and have a red spot and that would be to go and that would be normal so i'm gonna finish your skin uh, and, it's, and have a red spot and that would be normal to go and mobility and we're going to inspect your hair so i see your hair is black and the hair distribution is symmetrical and I don't see any dandruff and any infestation of lice I don't see any scars, lumps or bruises to your skin and everything is completely normal and nice, smooth and clean so I'm gonna palpate your I'm gonna palpate your head and just tell me if you feel any pain. Okay? Do you feel any pain? No. How about here? Yeah. Okay, good. So your hair is normal and smooth and clean. Now I'm gonna look at your nails. So I'm gonna hold your hands. I'm looking for your nail beads, it should be pink and it is pink both sides your shape of your nail should be round and convex and it is round and convex i'm gonna press it it should be firm and not spongy i'm gonna press it 
it is fr firm and it is not spongy so next is your profile sign which is the angle of your your nail it should be 160 degree and your nail angle is 160 degree both left and now right that has a single skin here and nails so now let's proceed to H E E N T which is your head your eyes your ears your nose and your throat assessment so let's start with your let's start inspecting to your head i see your head is upright and still the skull is round with prominence in the frontal area anteriorly and and the occipital area posteriorly and it is symmetrical and i don't feel any lumps or uh, tenderness and it is uh, hard and smooth and i see your face is uh, nice and pink in color and i don't see any abnormal movements or twitching to your face and your face is symmetrical there's no drooping of one side like this picture and this can be seen in Bell's palsy or in stroke. Now, we're gonna go ahead and look at your facial expression and test the cranial nerve 7, which is the facial nerve. So, can you close your eyes tightly for me and open your mouth? Smile for me. Open your mouth. From. Top up your cheek. Okay, so you did that easily, and that is good. Next thing to do, I'm gonna find your temporal artery. We're gonna palpate both bilaterally, and it's right here. And it's about two plus. And while we are here, I'm gonna move to your temporal mandibular joint. It's here. So can you open your mouth, please? Close. Open. Close. So I don't feel any grating or uh, clicking sensation, and that's good. So now we're in the eyes. I'm gonna inspect in your eyes first. We're looking for several things. We're looking at your eyebrow, your eyelids, your cornea and sclera, your iris and your pupil, and your palpebral conjunctiva. So I don't see any sign of swelling in your eyelids. Your eyebrow is aligned. And I don't see any dandruff and lights. And your sclera is white and shiny. I don't see any sign of uh, yellowish color like jaundice. And your cornea, both sides, is normal. Your iris is dark brown color. And both are the same size. And can you look at this? So your palpebra conjunctiva is pinkish in color. I don't see any sign of uh, foreign bodies or any type of swelling or infectation or drainage in it okay next thing to do is i'm gonna test some cranial nerve i'm gonna test your cranial nerve three four and six which is the uh, oculomotor trochlear and abdacens so i'm gonna take my pen light out i'm gonna hold it about 12 to 14 inches away from your nose what i want you to do is i just want to, to Use your eyes to watch where where I move my pen line and don't move your head, okay? Jeez. to do I'm gonna check the construction of your pupils so we ask if within the light so mommy Shell, I'm gonna check your eyes is it okay to you okay so what I want you to do is just look at that object behind me okay good so both your pupils are constricting to the light and it should it should be. Now I'm gonna check the application of the pupil. So we ask if we turn on back the light again. So mom, what I want you to do is don't move your head, 
just keep still and just follow my fan light. Okay, please. Okay, so both your pupils are still constricted and responsive to the light. Mom, I'm gonna assess your visual acuity using the snilling chart. Whenever you do this, you're assessing the cranial nerve too, which is the optic nerve. So all you have to do is your patient stand about 20 feet away from the chart. So Michelle, could you stand please? Stand right there. Did you see the chart? Yes. So I want you to try to read the lowest line that you can read. And before that, I want you to cover your right eye, then next your left eye, and then do both eyes, okay? So cover your right eye, please. So, three. D, E, F, P, O, T, E, C. Cover your left eye. D, E, F, P, O, T, E, C. Left one. D, E, F, T, O, T, E, C. Okay, you can read the line A. So you have 20 over 20 vision. That means that you can see the same line of letters at 20 feet that a person with a normal vision. Okay? I'm going to proceed to assessing your ears. So ma'am, I'm going to check the level of your ears to your eyes. So, the pinna of your ears is almost the same level of your eyes and your ears is in a proper position and it's symmetrical to the head and I don't see any abnormalities, any sign of swelling or any drainage. So the next thing to do is I'm looking at your auditory canal, the external surface of your ear for any ceramin and I don't see any Ceramin at all, and I'm gonna pr press your pina. The ear, do you feel any pain, mom? No, okay. So, your tragus is seems fine. I don't see any swelling in your tragus. I'm gonna press your tragus, mom. Do you feel any pain? No, okay. It seems your tragus is fine and normal we're going to do a whisper voice test to test the cranial nerve 8 which is the vestibular nerve so I'm gonna say something and I just want you to repeat it to me okay so I'm just sit here sit down here I want you to press your tragus okay White tissue. Center side. White shoes. Okay, good. Mom, let's proceed to assessing your nose. I see your nose is in the middle of your face and there seems no deviation to the left and right nose rib. Your septum is in the middle. Both mirrors are the same size. Mom, I'm gonna palpate your nose rib. And I'm gonna inspect your near, internal nerves. So first, I'm gonna palpate your nose rib. Do you feel anything, mom? Mm -hmm. So your nose rib is normal. There's no sign of swelling. So then next, I'm gonna inspect your internal nerves. So look at that. So your nerves is normal there is no sign of swelling redness or any deformities and now I'm gonna test your cranial nerve 1 which is the olfactory nerve and that is the, the sense of smell so what I want you to do is I want to close your eyes and I'm gonna put something in front of your nose and I want you to breathe in and smell and tell me what you smell okay Close your eyes. Breathe in. What do you smell? Ginger ale. 
Okay, it is ginger oil. And your premium number one is uh, in top. Now let's proceed to assessing your mouth and throat. But first, I'm gonna uh, wear my gloves. Done putting my gloves. So I'm gonna check your lips. So I see your lips is symmetrical, both the lower parts, and there's no signs of lesions, no bleeding, no edema, or any problem with the lips. So can I touch your lips? Did you feel any pain? No. Okay, so your lips is smooth and soft to touch. And open your mouth, please. So your teeth is white and in line. And I don't see any dental curies. Also, your gums is pink, nice and tight around the teeth. And I don't see any evidence of uh, gum disease. Okay. In your mouth again, mom. So the top or the dorsal surface of your tongue is rough and pink. The ventral surface of your tongue is shine and you say the vein. And the uh, bottom part of your tongue is uh, pink and moisture, and I don't see any sign of lesion at all. The next thing to do is we're gonna test your cranial nerve drug, which is the hypoglossal. So what we're gonna do is uh, I want you to open your mouth, stick your tongue, and I want you to raise up and down and side to side, okay? Open your mouth, stick your tongue, raise up, down, side, other side. Okay, good. So next is gonna test your cranial nerve 10, which is the vagus. So I want you to open your mouth and say ah. So ah, ah, ah. Okay, good. So the cranial nerve 10 and 12 is in time. Lastly, we're in the neck. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna inspect your neck. So the exterior, like that. So I see your trachea is in the midline, is one, and I don't see any lesions or any lump like you see in the thyroid problem, like goiter or goiter, and we I don't see anything like that. Next, we're gonna test your cranial cranium nerve 11 which is the accessory nerve so what I want you to do is I want you to move your head side to side up and down okay okay move your head side to the other side up down the next is shrug against nervous system again okay so it does that with easy so your cranial nerve is intact. So I want you to turn your head to the other side, like that. So you can see there's no distinction of the vein. And I'm gonna palpate your trachea just to confirm it's in the middle. Okay? Do you feel any pain? No? How about tenderness? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, your trachea is in the middle and I don't feel any lumps. Also, so the next thing to do is I'm gonna palpate your lymph nodes, all sides. So as I do that, just tell me if you feel any pain, okay? So first in your pre-auricular, second is in your post-auricular, third is in your occipital, right here, next is in the submental. Submandibular. Do you feel anything? No. Tonsillar. Next is in the superficial. Deep cervical chain. Posterior cervical chain. And last is in the supraclavicular. Right here. I'm gonna inspect your uh, tire gland. So I'm gonna stand in front of you and I want you to hyperextend your neck and I want you to sip and swallow the water. Okay? 
Okay? So, extend here. Paper extend. So, we're going to make sure to see if we're up there. Okay, so in the uh, anterior approach, so your thyroid gland is normal, and I don't see any abnormalities. You want to put it And I don't see any abnormalities. The next is in the posterior uh, approach. So I'm gonna stand behind you, like this, and I want you to flex your head. I'm gonna put my two fingers here in your hand and I want you to sip the water. Okay? So both uh, posterior and inferior it is normal. I'm gonna palpate your car carotid artery. So, so your carotid artery is right here. Nice and bounding. I think it is two plus to the other side. Right here, it is the same strength. It is nice and bounding, and it's also two plus. All right. So with that, assessing the uh, skin, hair, and nails, and also the H E E N C, which is the head, eyes, ears, nose and throat assessment. So thank you for cooperating. Thank you.